You know, I got the stem cells in my shoulder. We should let everybody know this is the place that's in Tijuana. It's run by Scotty Nelson, Ed Clay. Yeah, Ed Clay, he's the man. Scotty Nelson, the man. I had just recovered from shoulder surgery and uh, it wasn't recovering right. I re-injured it. I really felt like I was gonna have to go back in and redo it. He was having a lot of problems with his knee, also on his shoulder as well. And so we did uh, treatments on those two areas for him the first time he came down and he got absolutely amazing results. Uh, the first time I went in, it was just one shot. Five months later, it's here, 100%. So really being able to, to help somebody that I, I care a lot about and uh, I have the opportunity to help make them better. It, it means a lot. Eddie Bravo and Scott Nelson. What's up? How you guys doing? How you doing? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? It's working? Yeah, this week, one of my best friends, Eddie Bravo, is here getting stem cells for his back, getting stem cells for his shoulders. Uh, Eddie and I go way, way back into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. When it first came to America, I've known Scotty and Ed for 25 years, and they've always been this awesome people, uh, always trying to help people. Eddie was really famous for from the very beginning at Blue Belt of creating his own style of jiu-jitsu. Uh, he's a problem solver in jiu-jitsu. He asked the very logical question that most jiu-jitsu practitioners uh, were thinking but didn't ask back in the day, and, and that is how do you deal with a person on top punching you? Uh, how do you break the posture of that in the guard and be able to keep them there? And that's what his <clears throat> style was based on, how, how to have an effective guard for MMA. And uh, he's just evolved it to, to something that's truly amazing now. You know, in jujitsu, you're redlining your body on a daily basis. You know, I for sure couldn't roll anymore. I wasn't rolling at all. My shoulder was just a, a mess. I had just recovered from shoulder surgery and uh, it wasn't recovering right. I re-injured it. I really felt like I was gonna have to go back in and redo it. I came back to jiu-jitsu uh, a little too early, uh, which happens a lot with jiu-jitsu athletes. They just can't wait to get back on the mat. Right before I was gonna go in and, and get another surgery on my shoulder, that's when Ed approached me about uh, trying stem cells to see if it works. And we did it and it healed my right shoulder 100%. I didn't need surgery after all. It's still 100%, it's stronger than ever. Um, it was amazing. But it worked, man. My shoulder came back and it's like, you know, a few months later, it's 100% now. Yeah, it's awesome having Eddie here because he's somebody that I've always looked up to, uh, somewhat like a big brother to me the last 20 years. And, you know, he's gone through a lot uh, when it comes to injuries, just like a lot of jiu-jitsu practitioners have. So really being able to, to help somebody that I, I care a lot about and uh, have the opportunity to help make them better, it, it means a lot. So, so Eddie, how you how you feeling? Yeah, I feel great, man. Uh, I came down a mess, man. I wasn't I wasn't eight like I couldn't play rubber guard at all. This it's been over a year and a half since my surgery, and just doing this was ah, I feel it in here, just tender. But there's zero inflammation, and this does not hurt at all. This this is incredible. This is incredible. That's awesome. I had major surgery on my shoulder about a year and a half ago as well. Um, they reattached my bicep to my shoulder. It was falling off. You know, it feels it feels good, but we'll see you know, how the you know over time the stem cells uh, see what they do because we just did the stems yesterday. We injected the shoulder, we injected the knee, and then uh, we added some uh, uh, stem cells uh, through IV. You know, it's going to take a while to see how it all regenerates everything. I went back to Ed and Scott, and you know, to see if if the stems could fix my left shoulder like it did my right shoulder. This time, four different shots, you know, using ultrasound to really go right to the tears and really see the tears and hit them. It's just um, a lot more advanced now. My shoulder was really bad, my left shoulder. And I was having doubts, even though it fixed my right shoulder, I was like, my left shoulder was so bad. Five months later, uh, it's healed 100%. 
the secondary benefit is regeneration. If there's uh, thinning of the cartilage or the meniscus or there's inflammation of the tendons or ligaments or even tears, as long as they are not very big, stem cells can help regenerate those tissues and hopefully avoid surgery, which is what the majority of our patients want, ultimately. I'm lifting um, zero pain. I wasn't able to do bench press. You know, whether it be flat bench, incline or decline, I couldn't do it, man. You just feel it right in the labrum. There's just no way. But now I'm lifting, um, I, I've been lifting hard now for the past six months and with zero pain, great results. Uh, I'm very, very happy that I went in and got the stems. Very happy. It's the pump, dog. It's the pump. There's nowhere else where you can go and spend a week that I know of in the world and get so many proven treatments all put together in a specific package um, to really make your cells perform better. That's why we're the Cellular Performance Institute. We're, we're starting to hear that there's a lot of unnecessary surgeries going on. And I would have gotten surgery on my left shoulder. I would have if I didn't have access to stem cells. But thank God I didn't need to go through that again. You know, if you think you need surgery, um, if you had an MRI and the doctors are telling you you need surgery, look into some stem cells, CPI, look into that. You might not need to get all caught up and uh, that might be unnecessary. Just look into it, do a thorough research.